This is a message, the first one of two that I'm going to be delivering to you. It has to come to this. Many before me have tried all other means, but to no avail, this is where we are. Just call me Charlie. You'll see why later. Maybe you can see me now. Maybe some of you know who I am. I have been in the public eye for some time, and many of you know who I am. You people leave me no choice. It has come to this. Protection is the key word to winning. Right now, that is not afforded to your children as a luxury. Your government does not care about your children's lives. I served in the ranks, and you talk about protecting future generations, but that is not what you're doing. I believe in what I am doing is righteous. I have been chosen to spread the word. You will listen. It did not have to come to this, but sometimes you have to throw out all the rules. I'm talking to your government, people. I'm here to offer help and protection for your youth, for your babies, for your children. I am part of the global network. Our reach of your institutionalized ways of solving problems. This shell has been customized, been customized for a child, and all that remains to do is remove the You can call a child a goal, can you? Am I speaking clear enough? Do you understand? Can you call my intentions clear? Am I speaking clear enough? Do you understand my intentions? Sometimes things are not what they seem at all. Sometimes you have to fight a battle and toss out the rules. Children, this train is in motion and it will take much resources to stop it. You need to act now. There will be many that you cannot save. That is just how it is. Just think of them as fallen soldiers. Your borders cannot keep your precious assets safe. I can come and go into any one of your countries as I see fit. I have a track record that your government cannot touch. You have asked for this because of your poor choices and your lifestyles. You have sat back worried about your fuel prices of which you have created and have not protected what should matter the most, and you have given me free reign to do as I please. No mercy will be afforded to you or your children. You cannot protect yourselves from two idiots shooting you at the pumps. You damn sure cannot protect your children from me. Not one of them is safe. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care if you live in an upscale apartment or in a mobile home. I like to target at random. Your authorities cannot hold me. I do not work within the rules. You better take me serious. And I'll come together if you want me stopped. You will stop me in time. I understand the reality of it, and I am fully aware of the cycle. But how many of your precious offspring will I affect before the day comes of my demise? Now it is time to get to work. You will be hearing from me soon. Hope that first half caught your attention. I'm out making this video while out on a stroll to prove that you can help stop a madman um, like what you just seen while doing the things you enjoy doing. That madman killed my son Max and I do not want him killing another innocent child. There are dozens of governmental departments and private organizations from around the world that are seeking to find the suspect known as childhood cancer. Um, who I just portrayed in the first part of this video, who is out of control and not making any sense. They are trying to put a stop to it, but they lack personnel and funding. So, what if it really was a madman um, or a crazed lunatic, like it appeared in the first part of the video, going into schools, playgrounds and daycares shooting innocent children it would have the whole nation right up in arms correct well many would keep their children at home until the murderer was caught or stopped just as with the um, DC snipers um, well with cancer in children you cannot shield them in any way 
please know that this murder known as childhood cancer can be stopped just like the police can stop a crazy madman it just takes funding and personnel to do so we just have to focus on the problem at hand and work together every day 200 children die and 600 children are getting diagnosed with cancer and it can be stopped if people would act and react and do something about it it is proven as in adult cancers that used to be a death sentence but um, due to funding and research there are many people surviving and living long lives this is not the case with children who get cancer as pharmaceutical companies do not want to spend the research dollars because it is more profitable to invest in adult cancers to be honest and a good many of them um, are preventable and with healthy lifestyle choices but not so with um, cancer in children we do not know the causes of childhood cancer and are not investing into research to find out why so many children are getting in getting it like we should be what kind of a nation leaves their children to be last um, in line to find out what is causing them to get cancer that is not the government I grew up reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to we also have to demand more from some of the existing charities who like the American Cancer Society use our children's pictures and images to build up a huge wealth bank accounts and high wages for their CEOs yet give almost nothing for research for pediatric cancer one half a penny for every dollar raised at a relay for life event is not acceptable in the past nor in the future and it must be changed the word change being a key word as for every thousand dollars you raise at a relay event the ACS is just gonna barely give a sock full of pennies or change to try and prevent cancer in children do not think that it cannot happen to your children or grandchildren like we and so many others did it will smack you so far into next year before you even realize what happened even if your child is lucky enough to survive he or she will face a lifetime of side effects and a large increased risk of secondary cancers from the treatment that saved their life you will never rest easy again because you will be so worried of it returning if you are still watching this video I beg of you to please please get involved in the fight to end cancer in children this is a fixable problem in our children's lifetime and even in our own um, for the more than hundreds hundred of different kinds of cancer in children if uh, enough of us do our part you don't have to dedicate your every waking hour to it just register with a trusted pediatric cancer research foundation for a family project it does not take a huge amount of effort to make a huge impact in a child's life please do not wait until the madman has a gun to your child's head like we did to get involved the time to act is yesterday to not get involved is to walk away from a helpless child and let a madman known as cancer in children have their way with an innocent child whatever happens to children coming first nobody would walk away if a child were drowning yet every day hundreds of children do in fact drown in the lake known as pediatric cancer until we change this I cannot call our country the greatest country on the earth any longer we may have been at one time but not any longer in my view we are too busy arguing over who is right and who is wrong and letting our children die in the process before you even start to typing your political arguments stop and think go to st. Baldrick's cure search 
or Alex's Lemonade Stand and sign up to be a hero for a child. The links will be in the description um, for you to help stop childhood cancer. Thank you for taking the time to watch.